the work we do here at Mount Sinai was really motivated by one primary question. Can we say with great precision if an infection is present, where its source might have been, and to seek to prevent future infection in that way? Until recent years, we haven't even thought about genomics for infectious disease. It's been used primarily in study of cancer, in human health. Today, however, we have the opportunity to sample DNA from infections and to determine with great precision by sequencing the four billion base pairs of most bacterial pathogens and the molecular detail of the genome of these pathogens. And what we seek to understand is their actual physiological capabilities are, what diseases they might cause, what antibiotics they might resist, to what antibiotics they might be susceptible. And of course, the reason we combat these infections to seek to prevent them is primarily a patient care question. What we really want to do is basically bring the genomics closer to the clinicians and try to expand the amount of information that is available to clinicians to tailor treatments to individual cases. I see myself as the clinical bridge between what the genomics group does and the clinical work that's happening in real-time basis in the hospital. It's not just the genomics, it's not just the patient information, it's putting it all together into patterns that we can start to recognize. Whenever a patient tests positive for a pathogen, we can rapidly provide the genetic data for that pathogen, and we can use this information to tailor treatments that is most suitable to that patient. This is certainly an example of applied precision medicine in infectious disease. That is unprecedented. We can then take that knowledge and extrapolate it to infections more generally in both community and hospital settings uh, in developing countries as well as societies such as our own. This is the kind of project that would never happen in most places, but it's actually quite natural to pull off at Mount Sinai. It's just amazing that we can use these tools now to solve some of the most complicated puzzles in biology.